guys growing up on Easter or Christmas, it was lamb, 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 and lemon soup. Those are the holiday memories that I have. And after three years, four million views, how could I have not put this on my channel? Look, today, that's all gonna change. It is leg of lamb, Greek style, in the Pit Boss Pellet Grill. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, look, I promise this video here is going to be amazing. First up, good old Mom's Day Greek cookbook. This dates back many years. Also has some of my Yaya recipes in there. So this is definitely a treasure trove, although not clearly written. So I got to decipher everything out. Alrighty, look, it all starts with fresh herbs with this. We got some dill, we got some mint, and we got some Italian parsley along with garlic and lemons. Again, all ingredients and direction will be down in the description under show notes. Look, your best if you can, if you got a uh, chopper like this, use it. It's better than hand and chopping it. Get all your herbs in there first. And basically what this is gonna do is just gonna kind of beat them around a little bit and release all those oils. From there, get your garlic in. I'm gonna go with a little black pepper and salt. From there, you're gonna go with the rind of one lemon. It's so much flavor. Oh yeah, that is flavor. And now get that uh, juice of a half a lemon in, half a lemon. You wanna go a little bit of honey, probably around an eighth of a cup or so. At this point, get yourself a good olive oil, get it in there, probably about another eighth of a cup or so. Let that sit and move over to your leg of lamb and you wanna score that meat. Now, be careful here. You don't wanna to go too far down into the meat. Maybe an eighth of an inch. At this point, you're gonna to wanna to get it up on some kind of rack because when you cook it, you want that heat to disperse underneath the uh, underneath the lamb. Get it up on a rack. Now get your uh, mixture out and just, uh, just rub it in, man. Oh, yeah. Get it all over, let it go inside the uh, scores. The uh, fresh herbs with the dill is just putting out in a, just an amazing aroma. Just all fresh, man, all fresh. At that point, I'm gonna get some of those fresh herbs, the, uh, the dill and the mint, and get it on the lamb. Guys, we are creating layers of flavor. Oh, yeah. That's a little salt going down just a little bit. Follow that up by a little black pepper. And how about just a tad of oregano? good already mm -hmm. 
just to a nut shell this. We are going to go with them jealous devil pellets. I believe that is the legendary. We're going to maintain 275 in the pit. And we're looking at probably about a two hour cook, 140 or so internal. Guys, just make sure when you're putting your thermos in the uh, in the lamb, stay away from the bones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, look, man. She, I'll tell you, man, this, the smell is in the air, man, with that fresh dill and that fresh mint. I mean, it is just something different that the shack hasn't smelled before. And that lamb sure did look good. The one thing I know about lamb is, is 145 pull it, even maybe 140 pull it. You do not want to overcook lamb because it's just going to be dried out. So 145, 140, 145 is the ticket. We're just going to let this puppy run at 275. You may check in an hour or so and I'll bring you back. All right, guys, look, we are a little over two hours in, and we are showing about 140 on the temp gauge, so that looks pretty good. And I gotta tell you, walking in from the house to the shack, the smell is through the roof. I mean, all that fresh herbs with the garlic working, 20 feet away, man, you start getting a, uh, getting a smell of it, man. And it's, it, it, it just smells awesome, man, I gotta tell you. Let's go in, let's check it out. Everything checks out. We'll get it on the board and we'll go from there. I gotta tell you, man, I thought yesterday's roast, the prime rib looked good. This got that beat. I mean, this sucker is juicy. Let's get it on the board. <laughs> get some snaps and get right in there. guys I could tell you this looks absolutely amazing a period I mean it just looks amazing let's go in get a cut man I'm hoping the camera gets this because I have a feeling this sucker is juicy as juicy can be and there was no injection on this bad boy Perfect. Guys, it cooked absolutely perfect. You know, as I go in, it probably gets a little bit more moist. The outside red, a little bit hotter on a temp. Inside is what I was going for, but man, Oh, that looks good. Guys, now look, I've brought this up in the, uh, in the past on some, uh, in some conversations. And no one else seems to do it, but I always hit it with some mint jelly, man. And it is uh, just something I am used to. I know no one has, uh, no one ever admitted that they use mint jelly when they do any kind of lamb. But hey, if you have, leave me a, uh, Leave me a message down below or definitely give this a try. Oh man. Guys, I'm not even gonna, you know, I don't even know what to say, but this is amazing, man. It is just, it, it, it's a 360 on a, uh, 
Now, our prime rib it is a little bit different of a flavor, man, but it is a flavor that I definitely miss. Guys, without a doubt, the outside crust on this is the best I've ever done, man. This is better. This is better than the prime rib. Maybe not the overall flavor, but the crustiness outside has has just with that dill, the oregano, the mint leaves, uh, salt, pepper, garlic, man, the paste, the honey. It, it, it's just a better flavor than the prime rib. I love prime rib meat. This is just a different flavor, man. It is, it, this, is a, this is a 15 out of 10, man. 15 out of 10. <laughs> All right, man, that's it. I am gonna wrap this one up. You gotta make this, man. You gotta get a leg of lamb. You gotta make this exactly the way I did it, and you will love it. So look, man, that is it for this one. Until next time, we will see you soon. Oh, <laughs> ciao.